Facing trouble to keep track on your expenses? Individual costs, their records by date and total accountable for each of them sounds like a lot, right? Let's make all this possible in one worksheet only. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. Today our discussion is how to create an expense report in Excel. We will create this template in a blank worksheet using Excel 365. You can use other available versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Here is a new worksheet. Here we will remove the grid lines first. For that let's go to view tab and from the show group Uncheck the grid lines option. Now to add basic info, merge B2 to I2. From the home tab, under the alignment group, merge and center. Type expense report. Now for more information, we will add more titles. Before that, let's merge the cells for better visual. Merge B4 to C4 using the merge and center option. Now let's copy cell B4 using control C and paste it using control V in B5, B6 and E4 and in H4. In B4 type purpose as in the purpose of this expense report. Employee name in B5 and here goes employee ID. In D4 type a colon sign and in e4 let's create a blank space using underscore now select d4 and e4 and using fill handle tool copy it till d6 for the time period of the expense sheet to understand the duration for these transactions we will add time period here so in h4 type time period in h5 from 862. Now let's select all of them using control key and from the home tab under the font group make them bold and increase their font size to 12. From the alignment group let's make them left and middle aligned. Let's add borders using the borders panel and select all borders. Let's add some formatting for our title as well. Select the title and from the home tab under the styles group choose the cell styles drop down menu here select heading 2 and go along with increasing font size to 14. for detailed report let's add some column headers first in b8 let's type date description hotel transport meal phone others finally total now select b8 to i14 and go to home tab under the font group choose all borders for the titles in b8 and our time period go to home tab and under the font group make them bold increase their font to 12 and let's choose a fill color say this one and from the alignment group let's choose center and middle aligned it looks better right now select b8 to i14 and go to insert tab from the tables group select table to create a table for our database we can also create a table using ctrl t let's try the shortcut Control T. There we can see our range is already selected and make sure to check this box so that our top row is considered as column headers. Okay, for our column headers, let's go along with automatic black color for font and for fill color, this one. For calculating subtotal, we will insert a new row. Click anywhere in the table and we can see that a new tab is added which is table design click on it now from here select the 
total row checkbox and uncheck the filter button and you can see that the filter icons are no longer here and a new row has been added here writing total. Let's add subtotal here. Now we will format these cells according to requirement. Select D9 to I15 and from the home tab under the number group select this icon for accounting number format. And for this column from the drop down choose short it. You can customize format from format options as well using control 1 like that. To get the total values, we will use the sum function now. In cell i9, let's type equals sum tab and let's select d9 to h9. Enter. It will copy to rest of the cells as well. From the formula bar, we can see that the range is not referred as d9 to h9 rather the column headers of our table which is named as table 1 now let's add our cell values to create an expense report you can manually type it or copy from a draft data set we will copy it using control c and paste it here using control v we can see the total value is already updated according to our data set Now we want to add each type of expenses in the subtotal row. Since we added this row as total previously, we don't need to add formulas to get it. Select cell D15 and we can see a drop down menu here. Select sum. The value is not visible. Let's increase the column width. Now we can see that the total expense for hotel is $880. Now use the fill handle till H15. Subtotal for meal is not visible as well, but moving the cursor here, we can see that it's $1,490. We can just double click here and it's visible now. For final calculation, let's add merge G16 and H16 from the alignment group in the home tab and type paid. Let's format it from the font group making it bold and increasing its size to 12. Copy this using Control c and paste it in G17 and in B18. Now in G17 type due and in B18 type authorization. Here let's add all borders from font group. Here we have added these two cells so that we can count the amount that is paid and the due amount. Here we can notice that our total formula is not correct. So we can just use the drop down and select sum as well. It will give us the total value from this column. Let's say our paid value is $1000. Let's change format of I16 and I17 from the number group to accounting format. and. In the due value, let's type equals total minus paid value. Enter. And we can see that the total due amount is $2,350. Now, for authorization, we will add a blank space for signature. Select B19 and C19 and merge them using alignment. And use a blank space using underscore. So our expense report is ready. Now for the blank spaces, you can fill in with proper information. Let's type employee name as Charles Darwin. Easy, right? Using these elaborate steps, you can easily create an expense report as well. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to create it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.